Hello, today I will show you how to create the dynamic block. Uh, in this case, I will show you how to create dynamic door block. So first of all, what we need to do, we just start to draw simple lines, like, you know, uh, usual, the usual door size. So let's say it will be like 900 millimeters or maybe like 1000 millimeters wide. And let's say, you know, uh, 100 millimeters would be like the width of the door frame. So that would be like the our door size. So let's draw the frame like 50 millimeters, again 50 millimeters. <clears throat> and let's delete the inner part. And now we can just, you know, copy the actual door frame, for example, for example like. Sorry, here we can copy the actual door frame. In this case, I'm making door with a you know glass door with some kind of frame inside glass and glass. So, so this one would be like this, like a fixed part. You know, this would be the opening part of the door. So once again, now we can put the opening line, the door line itself. And now just cut the circle. So here we go, we have our basic door. Of course, we can also, like, you know, make it a little bit prettier and just, like, you know, put some say, thickness on, on the door and just, you know, it's a little bit better. Now, what are we going to do? We are just going to make a simple block. Just click uh, once again. You can click on select it all, click B for block, and let's define a block. The block name would will be door. Specify the base point. Let's say pick point. Sorry, pick point. I would like choose like let's say this part. And you know, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And we can like click OK. And let's go inside the block. So just let's open it for right mouse button. Oop, doesn't work. Uh, right mouse button, block editor. And we are in the block editing mode. So first thing what we are going to do is to make uh, this like block be able to mirror this block. Let's put a function that this block can be flipped, for example. In like, find the middle, just draw the mirror line, and just let's put the label. Whenever you put a parameter like this, you also need to put an action. So, first thing you do is you put a flip parameter action, click on a flip state, then you select the objects you want to flip. Which is basically only the door and press enter. So now this, these doors are going to flip. We can check it out by closing the block editor, save, and now when we click on a block, you see that there's like a small arrow appears, and if you click on this arrow, you can see that the door can be mirrored very fast and easy. The second thing we are going to do is to make it mirror like this way, as the other way. So we repeat the same thing. Just use the flip function, click on the first point, second point, and then use the flip function, click on the flip state, and we are going to actually going to mirror the whole thing. Click enter. Save the changes. Now if you click here, you see that the door can be mirrored like both ways, here, there, there and back. So it's pretty convenient and easy way to work. 